On the fourth day of competition at the 2013 IPC Alpine Skiing World Championships in La Molina, Spain, conditions were fairly cold and windy as 92 skiers competed in six medal events of the Super Combined, which combines one Super G and one Slalom run. In the first event of the day, the women's visually impaired class, Russia's Alexandra Fanseva, together with guide Pavel Zabatin, took their second gold of the championships, adding to the Super G world title they won earlier in the competition. Fanseva is also the silver medalist from the 2011 World Championships. She recorded the fastest time in the Super G run, more than two seconds ahead of Great Britain's Kelly Gallagher. In the slalom, though, Fanseva had the second fastest time, just behind Gallagher, but her overall time of 1 minute 56.21 seconds was enough to take gold. Favourite for the event, Paralympic champion Henrietta Farkasova of Slovakia was unable to defend her world title after crashing out in a training run and sustaining injuries that will rule her out for the rest of the championships. Gallagher, guided by Charlotte Evans, took silver, and Slovakia's Petra Kozikova won bronze. Gallagher and guide Charlotte Evans have now won two silvers and a bronze in La Molina, whilst it was 22-year-old Kozikova's first medal of the championships. It was very difficult. Why? Why? Well, maybe it was a big I had a great desire to win. Okay. The conditions very difficult. Трудные ли были условия в погоде в плане погоды? Ну, ветер заставлял переживать. Yes, unfortunately, the wind was quite strong. Okay. After the morning's giant slalom, France's Marie Bochet was nearly a second and a half behind Germany's Andrea Rautfuss, who led the field. But Bochet put in a sensational second run to claim her fourth gold in as many events in the women's standing class. The 19-year-old showed exactly what she is made of and why she is now four-time world champion in La Molina with an incredibly agile slalom run. Y Marie Bochet que aconsegueix en la primera posició acaba d'arribar mateix i atenció perquè Marie Bochet pot tornar, pot aconseguir la seva quarta medalla d'or. Marie Bochet close to... Rautfuss had to settle for her third silver in four events, whilst Canada's Alexandra Starker continued to make the most of her first major international championships by winning her second bronze. Alors c'était vraiment une journée un peu différente des autres, un peu plus longue, un peu plus euh, fraîche et, euh, et j'accumule un peu de la fatigue aussi donc c'est vrai que c'est pas évident. Euh, première manche un peu difficile, deuxième manche bah, je fais mon meilleur ski en slalom, euh, le ski je sais faire et ça marche et je gagne aujourd'hui donc c'est super. Austria's Claudia Lush, the winner of Thursday's Super G, took her second gold of the championships in the women's sitting class. Lush was the fastest skier on both the Super G and the slalom runs. Attention, Claudia Lush, trying to confirm the leadership. Let's see. Yes, Claudia Lush is the winner. Two minutes, four seconds, 29. Her time of two minutes, 4.29 seconds, was 3.22 seconds ahead of Canada's Kimberly Joins, who took silver. Bronze went to Germany's 2011 Super Combined World Champion Anna Schaffelhuber. The flowers will be presented by... Um, ja, mein Rennen heute war super. Es war einfach genial. Ich habe nicht damit gerechnet, dass ich das hätte gewinnen können, obwohl ich nach dem Super G vorne war und ich freue mich einfach nur wahnsinnig. After gaining the fastest Super G run, 
Spain's Juan Santacana and guide Miguel Galindo Garces fell for the second successive day in their second slalom run. Opening the door wide open for Canada's Chris Williamson, guided by Robin Femi, in the men's visually impaired race. Williamson is a Super Combi Bronze medalist from the 2011 World Championships and he took gold in La Molina to add to his Super G Silver and Downhill Bronze. Good stuff, two seconds lead. Silver went to Slovakia's Miroslav Haraus, guided by Maria Zatopikova, whilst bronze was won by Sunday's slalom gold medalist Ivan Fantsev of Russia. Today, how today went was very good. Uh, we had a very uh, close race in the uh, first run with Jan Santacana. Uh, we were a tenth away and then I think we uh, really showed uh, what we had in the slalom and uh, gave it all we could and luckily we're on top today. Just two years after making his international debut in para-alpine skiing events, Austria's Matthias Lanzinger was crowned men's super combined standing world champion. The 32-year-old suffered a double leg fracture at a FIS World Cup event in 2008 that led to the amputation of his left leg below the knee. It was Lansinger's third medal in La Molina after winning Super G Silver and Downhill Bronze last week. After missing Sunday's slalom due to illness, he was delighted to make such a remarkable comeback. Lansinger only had the second fastest time in the Super G run behind France's Vincent Gautier Manuel who didn't finish the second slalom run. On the second run, Lansinger had the third fastest time behind Russia's Alexei Bugayev and Alexander Olyabiev. Matthias Lansinger! One minute, 42 seconds, 44. So by now, the medals are guaranteed for Lansinger. But Lansinger's overall time of 1 minute 42.44 seconds placed him ahead of 15 year old Alexei Bugayev, who, in winning silver, claimed his first international medal. France's Cedric Amafoua Brassard picked up bronze. Ich bin heute über diese Goldmedaille extrem glücklich. Ich war die letzten Tage krank, waren keine guten Vorzeichen für mich und musste den gestrigen Slalom auslassen. Und heute hier wirklich die Kraft so zu sammeln und diese Goldmedaille zu machen, ist für mich wirklich eine riesengroße Erleichterung. The final event of the day was the men sitting. Japan's Taiki Mori had the winning time. The 33-year-old now has two world titles to his name, in Super G and Super Combined, as well as a silver in slalom. He had the fastest time by over a second in the Super G run, but had the fourth fastest time in the slalom. Here is Taiki Mori! Yes, Taiki Mori winner on Man City! Congrats, Taiki Mori! In the end, though, the overall time of 1 minute 44.74 seconds placed him ahead of his teammate Takeshi Suzuki, who came into the event as defending world champion. Bronze went to Austria's Philipp Bonadiman, who took gold in Sunday's slalom. Hi, 
So um, very good condition and uh, good uh, course condition and uh, his uh, health is very good today. Yeah. After the fourth day of competition and 24 medal events, France lead the medals table with eight medals made up of four gold, two silver and two bronze.